Perhaps the biggest races in Lawrence County, Ohio, were two contested commissioner races on the Republican side. And then there was the controversial developmental disabilities levy, too. 13 News reporter Shannon Luton is live in our Huntington studio with the details now. Shannon, good morning. Jack and Marilee, good morning. The unofficial results were posted a little before 9.30 last night. Two big commissioner races took place for the Republican side, as you guys were talking about. So let's get right into it. In the first one, incumbent commissioner Colton Copley beat challenger Brian Pinkerman by just 189 votes. Quite a close race there, and Pinkerman could still be in the race. I'll explain a little bit on that later. On to the next race, though. This one was between incumbent commissioner Deanna Holliday and Sean Hacker. Holliday taking home 60% of the vote. And finally, of course, the controversial developmental disabilities levy has once again failed. Now, in November, the levy failed by 354 votes. Last night, the levy failed to pass by 1,201 votes. Now, again, these are still unofficial results as the Board of Elections will be waiting on absentee ballots to come in the mail. So it is technically possible that some of these races could change by the time they certify the election on May 9th. But that being said, one election official tells me the odds of a race changing are less than 5%. For now, the reporting live here in the Huntington studio, I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you. Jack and Marilee. All right, Shannon, thanks for that report. In Kenaw County,